Hey friends, you know we've been reading about feelings a little bit and so today I have a new book that I really really love. It's called The Digger and the Flower. It's about mm, some happy things and some sad things. So why don't you pay attention and see what you think is happy and what you think is sad and if you like the book. The Digger and the Flower by Joseph Kef Kefler, I think. He's the author and the illustrator. Remember the author is the person who writes the story, the illustrator draws the pictures. I really like the cover. Can you see the flower? I know there's a little bit of a glare. There you go. This is the title page and there's a flower. It was morning and the big trucks were ready to work. Hoist, said Crane. Let's push, said Dozer. Let's dig, said Digger. I think it's really fun to watch big machines at work. Together they built tall buildings for working. They built roads for driving and bridges for crossing. They seem pretty busy. Do you ever see any machines like this working around town when you're driving around? They built and built until the loud whistle blew. I'm beat, said Crane. Me too, said Dozer. The other big trucks took a break, but Digger did not. Now if you look carefully, Digger's over here. Can you see what he's looking at? Do you see the little flower? What do you think he's gonna do? Do you think he's gonna run over it? Do you think he wants to save it? Do you think he likes it? He had found something in the rubble. Hello there, he said. The flower was tiny, but it was so beautiful. So I guess he likes it. Every day while the other big trucks built, Digger visited the flower. I love flowers too. I guess he likes, maybe he liked to be a gardener if he wasn't a big machine. I wonder what he's going to do with that flower. He watered it when its leaves looked dry. He shielded it on windy days. And just before he switched off for the night, Digger sang the flower a bedtime song. I like the way he's using his scooper to give the water to the plant and to protect it from the wind. The flower grew, but the city grew too. Soon, every space had been filled. Every space but one. And look, it's right where the flower is. It's the only place they still have a room to build anything. I like the pictures in this book because a lot of them are black and white and there's just little splashes of color. The machines, the laundry hanging here, the taxis, there's a red flag. We need to put a building here, said Crane. Dozer started his engine. Before Digger could stop him, oh, what do you think he's going to do? He's ready to build a new building. Do you think he's going to run over the flower? I hope not. Dozer blew a big puff of smoke and cut the flower down. How do you think that's going to make Digger feel? He's been taking care of the flower and helping it grow and protecting it. And now the other machine ran over it. Do you think he's going to feel happy about that? Then the other big trucks went back to work, but Digger did not. Look at his face. Can you see the expression on his face? And he's shedding a tear. I think he feels sad. What do you think? So he had come to really care about the flower. And then the other machine didn't care at all and killed it. And now he's really sad. When the smoke cleared, Digger saw something in the rubble. Do you know what these are? Little seeds, he said. Why do you think he might be happy to find the seeds? What can you do with seeds? Think about it.
he scooped them up and drove. So he's gotten the seeds. Now, unfortunately, the, the regular flower that he loves so much is dead, but he's taken the seeds. What do you think he could do with seeds to maybe fix the situation a little bit? He drove past the tall buildings and past the farthest house on the farthest street. So look, the seeds are in his bucket. I wonder where he's going with those seeds. He drove to a place no big truck had ever been. Now look at the way the illustration changes. Here in the city, everything's still black and white and they get it out into the country and look, now it's all colorful. Why do you think he's going out there? And look at the tracks he's made. He's gone a long way. Can you see him? There, Digger stopped. He dug and scooped. So he's digging a hole. Here are the seeds. And look what he does. And he tucked the seeds into the warm earth. So what do you think is going to happen after he, after he put them into the dirt? Every day, Digger cared for the seeds. He watered them when their leaves looked dry and he shielded them on windy days. So look, he planted them and they grew more flowers. So while the main flower died, she gave her seeds so there would be new flowers and he took care of them and now they're growing. How do you think he feels about that? Do you think he feels happy? I bet he does. And he also has more than one now. And just before he switched off for the night, Digger sang the flowers a bedtime song. I didn't even know big machines could sing, did you? And look, there's the city black and white again, but look what's growing closer to the city. Do you know how those flowers have gotten closer to the city? So when the wind is blowing, it's picking up the seeds and spreading them different places and they fall into the dirt and they start to grow. So now they're growing closer to the city. So someday they might grow right into the city. And that's the end. And look, here's a picture of the author illustrator on a big machine. I like that. Let's see if it says where he lives. Oh, it says he lives in Minnesota, which is very far from Portland, and it gets really cold in the winter there. So there he is. I like that story a lot. I hope you enjoyed it, too. After you listen to the story, maybe you can tell me some things that make you feel happy or some things that make you feel sad or just if you like the book. All right. Happy reading, friends.